<laughs> went very well. I guess it was a, an extension of a cordial relationship we had on the uh, Prime Minister's last visit here. We had a good discussion and uh, I talked to him briefly about his trip overseas and, uh, and then we got down to uh, business. Going into it, we were told <coughs> that this was a courtesy meeting because he was going to be here. There was no really strict agenda. Was there any specific issues you talked about? No, there was no strict agenda and it was the courtesy meeting. The Prime Minister indicated that he was coming through and that uh, if he wished to meet, we'd meet. And so we decided that would be a good idea and it certainly was a good idea. I guess the first uh, item of importance that I put on the on the list for him and, uh, was the fishery. Uh, we're going, obviously, we have an MOU in place. We're going through a, a talks of restructuring, possible rationalization. I felt that the federal government has to be at the table, a very, very important partner here. I pressed upon the Prime Minister the importance of the fishery to Newfoundlanders, Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. Uh, and he took notes and he listened and uh, so hopefully we'll uh, we have <coughs> What did you say when you spoke? Yes, she made a call to me yesterday. We were in cabinet all day, and then uh, yesterday, after, late yesterday afternoon, I met with her. I was uh, I was surprised because I, I didn't actually know if Beth would actually take us out of the appointment and go to Ottawa. But I'm very happy for her. She seems to be quite excited about it. I think she'd be a very strong representative for us in Ottawa. I think she'll be a strong voice. She's obviously a very intelligent, a very capable woman uh, who knows. Uh, not only the financial issues in Newfoundland and Labrador, but also the big issues, whether that happens to be Hibernia or Lower Churchill. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm sure you start right from the start on this particular matter. Uh, I discussed it with Minister McKay, who also attended the meeting, and Prime Minister Harper, and they said they've checked everything within the defense systems, they've checked with whoever they could check with, and they have absolutely no record of anything, for want of a better term, foreign that, that, could, have, uh, that could have happened there. Uh, Several theories as to what this is. I've heard as recently it's coming down on the on the elevator that it might be a plane. So I don't know, but obviously there was something in the sky that day, and something was seen. But uh, from from a Canadian defence perspective, I'm satisfied after talking to the Prime Minister and the Minister of Defence uh, that there certainly wasn't anything that uh, that was being hidden by the government of Canada.